Hi, this is my latest version of a Black Soldier Fly do-it-yourself bucket composter. Uh, the goal I had in designing this was to create an inexpensive but efficient device for processing uh, food scraps and food waste with Black Soldier Fly larvae. This is just going to be a brief overview and I plan on doing more videos with more specifics on how to operate it. Uh, the four main functions that a full featured black soldier fly unit needs to have would be uh, an adequate drainage system, adequate ventilation, uh, a mechanism for harvesting the mature larva, and also the unit should contain the larva because they're very mobile and will crawl away if you don't have a method of containing them. Now I keep uh, the lid on with bungee cords. Uh, this actually, without snapping the lid down, it makes a pretty firm uh, way to hold the lid down in case you have critters that try to get into the bucket. In normal operation around my place, I just leave the loose, uh, the lid loose, which works pretty well for me and I haven't had any problem with uh, critters getting into the bucket. Uh, the ventilation system was the first thing I'll cover. This unit, uh, this is the new version, has a vent on the lid, which is made out of standard PVC fittings. T-fitting penetrates the lid and attaches to a reducing bushing on the bottom. Uh, the cardboard I'll talk about in a minute, but the, uh, the angle on these pipes is meant to prevent too much rain from getting inside the unit. It would take pretty strong wind to blow rain in at that angle, I think. And so that'll vent the hot air out the top. And then I have four, roughly four, four and a half inch vents cut just under the reinforcing rim of the bucket. So that will also help keep rain intrusion to a minimum. And the reason we need to ventilate a system is because the larva uh, generate a lot of heat when they metabolize food. We might have 10,000 or maybe even 20,000 larva in this bucket if it was really maximized. And as they quickly uh, consume the food that you put in here, the food waste, they do generate a lot of heat and that can create problems. Um, if you're familiar with black soldier fly composting, you, you're aware of the heat issues. But I don't want to go into too much detail about that stuff now. Just suffice it to say, you need good ventilation. And uh, this is a, a beta version. I haven't tested this specific design yet, but uh, if I need to, I, I will make these uh, wider slots in the future. But uh, I hope that that will be adequate and we'll see. The harvest system, you can see on the outside, it terminates in a container with sawdust. And this could be pretty much any container. I've got a, an expensive storage container with a, a latch on the top. Um, the latch helps, again, keep some critters from stealing your larva. As far as keeping the larva in the container, the sawdust uh, is an important part of that. By keeping the inside of the container dry, you eliminate the ability of the larva to scale the side. If condensation forms on the inside, or if the larvae are wet, they can scale the, the side, and they would try and wedge through the uh, hole that is the uh, entrance for the pipe. They probably wouldn't get through, but it's not pleasant if they're wedged in there. So the sawdust keeps them down, and it also helps them settle down when the mature larvae uh, end up in that container. If there were no sawdust or coconut coir or perhaps a peat, there would they would simply circle the container endlessly trying to get out by having some material that also serves the function of calming them down because they can hide. So working backwards, we've got simple three quarter inch PVC pipe that uh, penetrates the bucket up here and then transitions into a clear vinyl tube. Uh, endless variations are possible on, on pretty much any part of this bucket, but it's the basic concept that I wanted to share and, and uh, I would love to hear people's suggestions and observations and questions um, in the future if you have any. There, there is a page on my blog at blacksoldierflyblog.com where I have a page dedicated to this unit with a lot of pictures and, and some more details on how to construct it. And of course there's a comment section at the bottom and I'm hoping people will ask questions and share suggestions in the comment section. So we don't absolutely need a harvest system. You, you could actually uh, tip the bucket every once in a while at an angle, a 40 degree angle or 35 degree angle and let them crawl out or something like that. But to, to be a, the most convenient and efficient uh, unit possible, we want to be able to collect the larva. I have tested this uh, briefly with some mature larva that I still have and, uh, and it looked promising, but we'll see what it does in tests. 
starting at the beginning of the harvest system when they when there's compost in the bucket the larva when they try to exit as they mature because they no longer eat in the mature stage the the dark colored mature larva will come to the wall of the bucket and they'll circle the bucket along the surface of the compost what we want to do in this case is have the funnel the opening of the funnel which is made out of a generic water bottle the level of the compost should come roughly up to the opening that would make it easier so I anticipate that I will be burying this part of the funnel under an inch or so of compost and that will help direct them more efficiently in there I also hope that when they if they're traveling this direction they'll come to this obstacle and then crawl around it and in that way but we'll see what kind of percentage I get uh, as far as um, efficiency in capturing the mature larva once it's in use once again I'm holding the funnel on with two magnets one on the outside one on the inside and the reason I'm doing that is because as the level of the compost rises in the bucket this can easily be slid up and down to accommodate for the different levels so that the so that we keep an opening always at the level of the compost and that wouldn't be something you'd have to adjust every day just occasionally as you add more compost or more waste and the compost comes up likewise I wanted to support the hose on this side so I had eight disc magnets and same idea one some on the outside some on the inside and then that just makes a little support so that you can adjust and get a nice even angle uh, all the way down so that you can uh, do you don't create uh, places where the incline is steeper so it's basically just a stabilizing mechanism let me uh, remove this so that I can just briefly cover the drainage system drainage is key to keeping a balanced black soldier fly colony if the unit doesn't drain well you'll get a flooding condition in the compost and, it, and the, the compost floods which I, I'm afraid is a very common mistake with people just beginning to use black soldier fly for this purpose if they don't which is it's a bit challenging to get a good drainage system in place and if the compost floods it starves that area of the compost of oxygen and that promotes anaerobic bacteria growth so if you are experiencing foul sewer like odors one very good possibility is the compost is too wet and therefore not getting enough oxygen so I don't think that's going to be a problem in this unit the filter medium 